great way to heighten the sense of drama in your melee combat is by adding a screen shake effect. So in this tutorial, that's exactly what we're going to do. We'll look at how to make the screen shake when you hit your enemy, as well as when your player takes damage. Let's get started. Now this tutorial is designed as part of my melee combat tutorial. That said, I've tried to create it in a way that it will be helpful to anyone, even if you haven't been following along. What you will need in order for this to work though, is an ability for your enemy to detect when he's been hit by the player, and also some way for your player to know when he's being hurt by the enemy. Let's get started. So first thing we're gonna do is create the actual shake animation itself. We can do this by clicking on your camera. At that point, we're going to open up the animation pane. If you don't already have this pane, you can get it by going up to the top of your screen, clicking on Window, go down to Animation, and then Animation. Now while we're clicked on our camera, you're gonna hit Create. We're gonna just make a new animation here. I'm gonna call mine Shake. We'll hit the Record button here, and then any th changes we make in the screen to our camera will be recorded as part of this animation. So I'll head to Scene View here. And while clicked on my transform tool, I'm just gonna make it so that on this first frame, the camera moves just slightly over to the right. At about five frames, I'm gonna have it move to the left, just a little further than it was to start. And then I'm actually gonna just grab this first frame here, hit Command C to copy and paste it at 10 frames. You can see that we've got a shaking effect. And we can stop recording at this point and we're gonna head to our animator. Again, if for some reason that's not showing up, window, Animation and Animator will get it for you. Now most likely when you first open up the animator, all you'll have in here is what I'm showing on the screen now, and it's gonna have this orange arrow going from entry to shake. That means that by default, when you start the game, the shake animation will play, and that's definitely not what you want. As much as this earthquake effect is fun, it's definitely not what we're going for. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is create a new state. So you can right click anywhere on the screen, go to Create, Empty. We'll click on that, and I'm just going to rename this one to idle, as it will be the idle state of our camera. We want to make that the default, so if you go over to entry and right click, we can say set state machine default. We'll make that idle, so now we will automatically go to idle, which does nothing. Now we don't need any transition into our shake, however if we were to play it right now, it would just start to shake the screen and then get trapped there and never leave. So we'll have to make a transition taking us back to idle once that animation is played. And with that transition click, you'll notice that we currently have exit time set, and it has a duration of 0.25, which means after it plays, it will take that long before it transfers out, which is not the effect we want. We want it to be nice and snappy so that it plays the shake and then immediately goes back to idle. So we'll take transition duration and set that to zero. With that done, we're just gonna find our shake animation and over in our inspector window, we're gonna take loop time and unclick that so that we don't get a constant shaking, but just a quick shake that then stops. We are now ready to write our code and for this one, we don't need to make a new code, but just modify some existing ones. For mine, I'm gonna click on my combat folder and go into my enemy damage script as that's where my enemy detects that he has been hit by the player. Now the code for this is blessedly simple. We're gonna start up at the top where we will create a private reference to our camera's animator. We could make this public and then we'd be able to drag the animator into this box in Unity. However, we don't wanna to have to do that for every enemy we put in our game. And so in the start function, we're gonna have our enemy detect for itself that the camera animator is equal to a game object with the tag of camera. That way in start, it will find the camera and at that point it will just look for a component called animator on the camera. This is a good time to pop into Unity where we can click on our camera and make sure that it is in fact tagged as a camera. You'll probably need to create a new one by clicking tag, add tag. You can hit the plus button to type in camera. Don't forget to make sure that you have it case sensitive exactly like you've put it in your code with capitals and spelling. Back in our script then, you can go to wherever it is that your enemy detects damage from the player. For me, that's in my take damage method. And up at the top here, we're just gonna tell the animator to play the shake animation. So we'll type camera anim dot play, and then in quotation marks, the name of your animation. Now in Unity, we should find that there's a screen shake whenever we hit our enemy, but we also wanna set it up so that the screen shakes when the player gets hit. We're essentially gonna be using the exact same code we've already done. Uh, we're just gonna add this to a script where our player detects damage. So on my player, I've just created a little health script here. 
And all this one does is it just keeps track of his health, and at the moment, whenever he collides with an object tagged as an enemy, his health goes down, and if he gets to zero, his object is destroyed. Now all I'm going to do is up at the top of this if statement, so when he detects whether or not he's been hit by an enemy, this is where we're going to write our code to shake the camera. And so as with last time, we'll start at the top by making a private reference to our animator. We'll then head into our start method, where we're going to tell our player how to find the camera when he enters the game. He'll first look for an object tagged as camera, and then look on that camera for the animator component. With that done, we can head to our onCollisionEnter function, specifically under the if statement where we check for an enemy. And if it's an enemy, we just want to play that shake animation. So now in addition to being able to shake the screen when I deal damage, we also get a nice screen shake effect when we're being hit. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have, please be sure to click like or subscribe to the channel. In the meantime, this is Matt with Nightrun Studio. Cheers.